What's going on? Yeah, it's daytime. I got funky pants. I'm going to make lunch. So I've been making something that uh, I had uh, forgotten about that I came up with about 16 years ago called Back Bay Chicken. And basically what this comes up with, or what we're doing, we got butter, as always. I have a butter tree in the back, so that's how that works. Okay. And um, on, on this, you can... Use a lot of leftover whatever you have. I have some leftover mushrooms. I have some leftover enoki mushrooms. I'm using those. But the basis of this is this. Cubed chicken breast. Let's see. Get to the... Mm-hmm. And see how it looks like there are sand spurs. They got a lot of spice. That's herb de province. Or herbs de province. Yo! Finger was actually in the butter there. That hurt. Oh, my Lord. All right. Of course, I have to rinse my nubs off there. Okay. That's the basis for back bay chicken. The way I'm going to call it, I mean, the way it got called back bay chicken is because when this is done with the other stuff, it's going to look dirty. That's just how this recipe goes, okay? I have onions that are going to get tossed out if I don't use them. So, put some of them. How many? Yeah, that looks good. You go back in the fridge. Right there. And here's the other part of back bay chicken. That's the, the other main ingredient. The main ingredients to, to back bay chicken, be quiet please, are the chicken. And... Those sliced jalapenos. Now, don't get worried about, oh my god, it's a hot dish, that and the other. These are actually jarred sliced jalapenos, you know, where they're kind of pickled or whatever. And they're really good with this, so. Does that look good enough? Yeah, I think we'll do it with that. Okay, that is the basis for back bay chicken. The chicken covered heavily with herbs de province and butter and jalapenos. That's your basis. And basically that's it. From there, you do whatever you want with it. When I used to make this a long time ago, it was one of those didn't have a lot. This was a round kind of thing. I need a little something to eat. And that's what was around. A jar of jalapenos, a chicken breast and butter, which actually wasn't too too bad of a thing to have around. Okay, now, I'm going to get this charred, and from there, we're going to go on to the next bracket. Okay, so through the magic of, uh, what do you call this stuff? Uh, it's not television, but through the magic of whatever, we're going to uh, have this done instantly. Oh, check it out. See, now it looks kind of dirty. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is take another bit of butter. This is French cooking, you know. I have some of these leftover enoki mushrooms. Look at those itty bitty caps on them things. These are also, you know, these are also known as like champagne mushrooms, lily mushrooms. They're very earthy. They're normally used on salads and soups. I'm not doing any salads and soups. Look how pretty they are. Basically, these will take no time to cook in there. And that's fine. All right, we got them going, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do for this today, bleh, yeah, that's a lot of pasta, I know. But, hey. Here we go. The pasta is added. I actually probably needed to use a bigger frying pan for this. Why is there so much pasta, you ask? Because I had a bag of, of what do you call this stuff? I'll cut the fire down a bit. And uh, I had a bag of pasta. And it had a little bit more than what I would use for a serving for me. 
and the rest of it was just like, you know, one of those, oh, I've got this left, what am I going to do? And so I said, well, I don't have to eat it all. I don't have to, okay? Now, I want this to be very earthy, so I'm going to sprinkle in some long grain black pepper. When I get long grain black pepper, it looks like uh, burnt wooden matches. They're long and wiggly like that, and I have to ground them up in the, I call it dirt pepper, because it smells less floral than normal black pepper, and it smells more like the ground part of the plant. And I want the noodles, the enoki, the black mushrooms, I mean the black pepper, to be very earthy because the uh, the chicken with the herbs de Provence and um, those pickled type of uh, what do you call them things? jalapenos are very floral. That should be enough. <coughs> yep, that's good. I'm putting this into the bowl. I think this might be a bit off camera, but I'll put it back on. This is more than normal because of the that pasta size. But yeah, this will be two meals for me unless I turn into a piggy. You know, sometimes this could be one meal actually, but not right now. Okay. I have also I also have garlic bread. Where's a fork? Need a fork? Prop master. And here it is. See if you can see it. Herb de Provence is the key to this. Mm hmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> oh, shut that off. All right. Well, there you go. Back made chicken. Uh, last night, oops, I made this and I had some extra diced tomatoes and I threw those on there. I have some diced uh, bell peppers in there from something else I was doing with omelets, but mm, nah, not for this. Okay, there you go. Try it out at the house and hope you enjoy it. Bye.